Richardson, lovely to meet you. you Tell us about Lean on Pete. What made you want to get involved with this film? Uh, Andrew and I had just finished um, making Weekends, which was the first feature film we made together. We knew we wanted to make 45 years next, but we were also looking for something else to follow that up. And Andrew read the book, he loved it, he passed it to me, and I just fell in love with the main character in the story. And also, I felt that the way that Willie Vlaughton had written the novel would translate very well to screen through Ang Andrew's sensibility. The, the character goes through quite an extraordinary journey. It's very emotionally painful. It's very poignant at times, and yet it's never ever sentimental, both in the novel and then I really believe that Andrew would translate that to the screen beautifully. And what were the challenges on putting this story onto the screen? <laughs> well, we were filming with a seven, 16 year old boy. We were filming with about 30 horses at various points of the shoots. We were filming in 40 degree heat. Um, and we were making a film which I think has a sensibility and a, and a feeling which is very rare nowadays. Like we were trying to make a really strong, robust movie without it being overtly commercial or kind of pandering to, to typical storytelling techniques. And so that obviously gives a challenge when you're trying to finance something. But I think the partners that we had on board were amazing. BFI, Film 4, A24 in the US, Curzon here in the UK. And they all got behind the project and helped make what was ultimately Andrew's vision for it. And you've got an incredible cast there, but in particular Charlie Plumer is having sort of got the weight of this film on his shoulders, you know. How did that all pan out? Yeah, Charlie is a quite extraordinary young man. Um, he's an incredible actor. He was he had just he was 16 when we cast him, he had just turned 17 when we were filming, and he had to carry the entire movie. He's in literally every frame of the film, and this film was going to live or die on his performance. But when we saw his tape, we knew that he was really the right person to play Charlie. And what do you think people are going to take away from this film? What do you think his messages are? I hope people will take away the need for us to be kind to others. For me, the story is about the fact that we have abandoned the most vulnerable in our societies, both in the US, which clearly the film is about, but in the rest of the world as well, here in the West, in the UK, the most vulnerable are often forgotten and I think Charlie in many ways embodies that and I think if we can take anything away it's the fact that we need to find generosity of spirits and kindness for others. And what have got next in the pipeline? Any big projects ahead? Uh, so I'm currently filming a love story starring Laia Costa and Josh O'Connor and we'll be going into post-production on that in a few weeks which I'm very excited about. And Andrew and I are talking about a couple of new projects and just trying to decide which one to go for next. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Thank you Great. Oh, thanks. thanks.